this is part two of the time remap tutorial in this part I'm going to show you how to add a add the functionality to blend between the original time and uh, the remapped time on your time remapper node so to do that let's start off and uh, take our time remapper node that was created in the first tutorial and we're gonna go in and open the hypergraph connections and delete the connections into our existing animation curves so you just select these unit 2 time conversion nodes and hit delete and now as you can see the time remap node is not plugged into anything anymore except for its own animation curve and our sphere is plugged into the the previous three animation curves so if you play it back now it plays back at normal speed and it's uh, just the standard animation how we left it without time remapping so now let's, uh, let's open up the outliner and make sure that uh, DAG objects only is not checked so we could see all of the utility nodes being created and let's go in so one of the first steps is going to be to add the attributes that we need to our time remapper so let's select it and go to modify add attribute and we're gonna want a blend let's make that a float minimum zero maximum one with a default of zero add that and another attribute we're gonna need is an out time so let's let's call that out time and float and there is no minimum maximum or default add and basically the difference between the time and the out time is that we're gonna be able to key the time and we're gonna use a blend to figure out what the what the final out time is gonna be and we're gonna plug this out time attribute into our animation curves so now that we have our necessary attributes let's go into the connections again let's select our time remap node and we're gonna right click rendering create render nodes go into utilities and we're gonna do blend colors and what the blend colors node does and it's not meant for exactly this purpose as the name implies it's meant to, to blend between two colors but we're gonna actually use it just to do a linear interpol interpolation between two numbers and that number will be the original time and our remapped time so if you look on the attribute editor here you could see that there's a color one and a color two and a blender so if you adjust the blender it's gonna blend between if you adjust the blender to zero it's gonna be a hundred percent of color one and if you adjust the blender to blender to 1.0 or one it's gonna be a hundred percent of color two so this is perfect for our use and we're gonna plug in our time into color one and we're going to plug in our remap time into color 2. So let's do that right now. If you go back into the outliner and scroll down, you'll eventually see a time, time 1. So time 1 is the default time that everything is uh, kind of plugged into when you uh, create an animation. And it's the standard default slider. So let's uh, select time 1 and go into our window general editors connection editor and we're gonna put time one as output and we're gonna select our blend colors node if you close your hypergraph you could 
find your blend colors node in your outliner. Let's reload the right and we'll connect out time into color one. And now for, well actually not just color one, but color the red channel of color one. We don't need the green and blue channels since we're only working with one number. So now we're going to select our time remap node and put that into the outputs side. And we're going to collect and we're going to connect the time of the output or the time of the time remap node into color 2R. And we're also going to collect connect our blend attribute into the blender attribute of blend colors 1. And we're going to flip this because now we want to connect the the output of blend colors 1 into out time. So we could click on this from 2 and now it flips it so we could connect the output of R into out time. Let's close our connection editor and see what happened. So now if you look at the time and out time So this is our uh, keyed value, and this is our, and this is what will be output into the animation. So we want to make sure the values are correct. And basically, at this point, you could see that there's a one-to-one -one with uh, our keyed time remapper, and what our out time is. And if we adjust the blend, it should this number changes, and it should be the exact number that of the frame we're on which is 52. So as you can see this is uh, pretty much working how we want it to. It blends between uh, the original time remap and our original timeline. So all that's left to be done is connect the out time back into uh, our animation channels just like we did in the first tutorial. So I'm going to select my sphere and go into the connections. I'm going to open up my connection editor, window, general, connection editor. And I'm going to select my time remapper. Click this back so that it goes from and to. Just for, uh, just so there's not a lot of confusion. And now we're going to select each of these curves individually and go down and connect the out time into the input. So we'll select the second curve, out time into input, and now we have all of the curves connected. So now if we play our animation, it's playing the remap time. Let's close the outliner so we can see what we're doing here. So it's playing the remap time here. And now if I want to blend it back into and play it at normal speed, I could select blend and blend it to one. And it'll play at normal speed. I could even go in and uh, key the blend. and it keys and interpolates how it's supposed to. And just to ease up on some confusion, we could uh, right click on out time and lock and hide selected because these are the only two channels we want to, we want to be able to keep. And that's it. The next tutorial will show you how to write a Python script to automate this whole process. Thanks for watching.